Do you ever get angry? Nothing makes you angry. <laughs> Sometimes. What's your favorite destination to race at? Asia. Your favorite donut flavor. <laughs> I actually quite like quite plain donut. You know, just cinnamon donut. Worst race? You remember Kamsur? <laughs> what was your first sport you ever tried? I'm not sure. In New Zealand, team sports are quite big. So it's probably soccer or rugby. Probably rugby, I think. Who's your toughest opponent? I would say my head. What's your nickname? Somehow I got the name Magic Mike, and then also I got the name Big Mike somehow, and then it became Big Magic. What race has the best post-race party? Laguna Phuket Triathlon. <laughs> Ironman or half Ironman? Half Ironman. Who's your favorite coach? Brad. How tall are you? About six foot two. Does Brad do your Instagram posts? Yeah, sometimes. Swim, bike, or run? Bike. Is that all Brad does during the day? No, no. <laughs> he has lots of work. Introvert or extrovert? Probably introvert. I think. You raced quite a lot. Did Brad sign you up for a few extra races when he retired? No, he didn't. He's actually <laughs> the one holding me back from racing more. I would race every week if I could, but he's the one holding me back. Favorite place to train? It's pretty good at home here in Christchurch, but I really liked it over in Spain as well and in the uh, French Alps. Uh, would you rather live in Australia or the Czech Republic? Australia. Uh, how many siblings do you have? One. Wagga or Gold Coast? That's a really good question. Because we are leaving Gold Coast in four days, moving to Wagga for good. We so are, Wagga. Uh, yep, <laughs> Wagga. And it's not because of the cold weather there, but <laughs> we are going there because of the family. And it's a great place, but yeah, the winter, oh my God, that's going to be tough. Yeah, and some good pools down there, isn't there? You had a chat with Brett before, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah, we, we just bought a swimming pool there. So if the COVID happens again, we have a swimming pool to, to, to <laughs> swim in. Does Ruby want to be a triathlete? I don't think she can say the word yet, but she, she <laughs> wants to run and bike and swim. How do you balance your training and having a young baby? It's not a young baby anymore, so she's, she's two and a half. When she was under one, I thought it was a tough job, but it was actually a piece of cake because she slept a lot. I could train when she slept. I did lots of wind trainer and treadmill. It worked perfectly. But now she also talks. I feel sometimes hard to leave home because I have to tell her I'm going for a long, long ride today. Mommy's going to come in five hours and I don't want to do that. So I love to sneak out of the house before she wakes up. So it's, I think it's harder when, when they are older. I'm lucky to have Brad because he is, of course, with her and every day is different. So we just decide how the day goes and then go from there. But I always know that, for example, if I have a long bike ride, I don't do run off the bike because my run off the bike is just change and go to the playground with her. So it's like <laughs> it's a different run off the bike. It's a slide yeah. off the bike. It's another level of juggling how to train. Do you feel like you're stronger after having a baby or before? Well, the results were definitely better after having Ruby and I think it's just because you have to be more focused and more organized I guess you have more responsibility you feel like it's not like that I would feel being under pressure and then race better it's not good to race under pressure but I, I definitely had better races after Ruby was born I think it's because training and racing is actually easier than raising a child I would say so if you had two or three children, you'll probably be even faster. I would probably die. <laughs> <laughs>